Four billion people worldwide have cheap and easy access to the internet. But all this online connectivity comes with a heavy environmental cost. In 2015, 830 megatons of CO2 was emitted by internet usage alone. That's equivalent to flying from London to Perth and back over 74 million times. Thankfully, we can all play a role in reducing the internet's carbon footprint, and we're going to show you how with these 10 simple tips. So let's get started. Number one, delete your data. Whatever you do online, information is stored in data centers, which require vast amounts of electrical and cooling power. For example, Accessing a video or image online has been estimated to generate up to 12 grams of CO2 per minute. Sadly, much of the power used in data centers is wasted, keeping information available 24-7, 365 days a year that we no longer need. So make sure to delete any old accounts, Facebook photos, messages, emails and tweets, whatever it is. Declutter your digital footprint by deleting your data as well as your carbon footprint. 2. Cut back on emails. Sending an email produces about 4 grams of CO2. That's equivalent to driving a car just 24 meters. However, about 300 billion emails are sent every single day, emitting 438 megatons of CO2 per year, or about half of the internet's carbon footprint. So unsubscribe from brands and mailing lists you no longer engage with, stop hitting reply all, and try to discourage unnecessary emails in your workplace. Number three, start using Ecosia. Ecosia is a search engine, much like Google, that donates 80% of its ad revenue to planting trees, and they recently surpassed a monumental 100 million trees planted in over 9,000 locations. Ecosia plants the right trees for the right places, avoiding monoculture plantations, which we discussed in a previous video. Ecosia's data centers even run on solar panels, so your searches are actually carbon negative, absorbing more CO2 than they emit. Their publicly available financial data, YouTube channel and blog show users exactly how they're improving water security, providing habitats for animals and creating green jobs for some of the world's poorest people. Number 4. Are you scared of vampires? Well you should definitely be scared of vampire power. That's the power used when a device is turned off but still plugged in. Think about that little green charging light. On its own it may not use a lot of power, but globally Leaving devices on standby incurs a significant environmental cost. You can avoid this wasted energy by turning off and unplugging your devices when not in use, especially if you'll be away from them for two hours or more. You can also set your computer to sleep mode while going to the bathroom or making a cup of coffee, which could save up to 92% of the energy compared with leaving it running, and also save on your electricity bill. Number 5. Downsize your devices. About half of the internet's carbon footprint currently comes from end-user devices. Using a tablet or smartphone instead of a computer for simple tasks can save significant amounts of power due to their smaller screens, reduced processing needs and lack of cooling fans. In fact, what device are you watching on right now? Number 6. Abolish Bitcoin Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin use computers to mine and send bits, with progressively more and more energy needed with each coin mined. In fact, because of the blockchain infrastructure and distributed ledger system, each Bitcoin purchase now produces a whopping 253 kilograms of CO2. That's over 630,000 times more than a visa payment. Bitcoin also produces significant amounts of electrical waste due to burnt out servers. Leave a comment if you'd be interested in a global energy analysis of cryptocurrencies. Number seven, use ClickClean. Some website servers are powered by near completely renewable energy, while the majority are definitely not. Luckily, ClickClean is a Greenpeace tool which shows you what percentage of a website or app's power comes from renewable energy. So make an informed decision about where you go online, and rest assured, YouTube is one of the cleanest, with 78% renewable power to date. Number 8. Stop smoking near your computer. Strange as it may sound, cigarette smoke can clog up computer fans, greatly increasing the power drawn to keep them cool and killing their lifespan. So try to ditch the cigarettes for your body, your computer and your planet's health, and also be sure to regularly clear your devices of dust, even if you're not a smoker. Number 9. Move small businesses to the cloud. If you run a small business, you may be tempted to set up your own IT network. However, it has been estimated that small businesses moving to much more efficient cloud servers could save as much as 90% of their CO2, with up to 38% saved in data centers globally, especially if you shift to a green cloud. 
It could also save companies money and space on their ICT infrastructure. Finally, 10. Reduce, reuse and recycle your computing devices. Take care of your existing electronics and repair them before buying a new one. If you do have to buy new, recycle old devices and cables so they don't end up in landfill and new devices can be made from the old materials. Bonus tips. Check out Climate Care's website on the internet's carbon footprint to learn more about the problems the environment faces online. Share this video with friends, family and work colleagues and put pressure on internet companies to use clean energy by tweeting, emailing, protesting or even boycotting their services. Let us know in the comments if you've got any tips that we've missed and also check out our other social media. And remember, as always, but especially during this global pandemic, to look after yourselves, each other and most importantly, the planet around you. Thanks again, R. Eden.